Brian, lots to talk about. I mean, Charles Barkley sent that video to us. He's trying to trump up uh, Sixers fans to get here to watch the game tomorrow night. Also, the Sixers just announcing that they're buying up 2,000 tickets along with Michael Rubin to give out to Sixers fans after Knicks fans showed up here for games three and four. Knicks in five! Knicks in five! Charles Barkley does not want to see another night like Sunday. Hey, last week was embarrassing. Game three and game four were embarrassing. Y'all got to stand up and stand out. He sent Action News this video message today, hoping we don't see a repeat of games three and four where Knicks fans took over the Wells Fargo Center. A shock to many diehard fans. It's like they took over the building, which I couldn't believe. I didn't think I'd ever see that. We were, you know, screaming defense. They were screaming New York. Maxi fires! But the 76ers repaid the favor last night at Madison Square Garden with an overtime victory in game five. And game six might look a little different. The team just announced they're buying 2,000 tickets with the help of Michael Rubin and giving them to first responders and local groups. We also got a breakdown of where people are purchasing their tickets. According to TickPick, 34% of buyers are from Pennsylvania, 24% from New York, while 18% are from Jersey and 7% from Delaware. Of course, where someone lives doesn't determine who they're rooting for, but Barkley hopes the embarrassment in games three and four is motivating Sixers fans. To tell y'all not to sell y'all tickets to those annoying New York Knicks fans. Come on, man. Make that place the best home court advantage in the NBA. Go Sixers. Now, he actually had a lot more to say, Brian. That's going to be coming up uh, in sports with Deuces. By the way, StubHub also got back to me today with a little more information on the breakdown of who's buying these tickets. 45% of tickets on StubHub are being sold to people in Pennsylvania, 23% in New Jersey, 19% in New York. So I guess we'll see what happens here tomorrow night. We're live outside Wells Fargo Center. John Paul, Channel 6 Action News. Brian.